Did you know that Adderall is really similar to cocaine and crystal meth? But it's prescribed by a doctor, so it must be safe, right? Well, let's talk about it. You guys are awesome, and I can tell that you really want to learn about this topic. So I am remaking this video because so much has improved since then. So what is Adderall and how does it affect our bodies when we ingest it? It acts on your blood vessels and primarily your brain. And in your brain right now, you have neurotransmitters like dopamine and norepinephrine. What is a neurotransmitter? It's basically a chemical in your brain that is normally released to transmit a signal. And these are super cool because any movement you make, like this, uses neurotransmitters. Pretty cool, right? Now, dopamine and norepinephrine are released in large amounts when you take this drug. That's what's causing you to feel good, euphoric, your heart's just to be a little faster, and you got intense focus. I'm sure you all remember something called the fight or flight response. It's what they taught us in school, that you know, when you see something like a bear and your body starts to act a certain way, and you run, you run for your life. And you're not thinking about anything else. I mean, you are focused. The same thing is going on in your body when you take Adderall, as well as cocaine and crystal meth. Adderall is safer in the sense that it's prescribed in a professional setting with controlled doses, but it still can be abused. It works, hands down it works. You're gonna be able to focus and sit down and study even if it's the most boringest subject ever. But let me tell you, no one plans on getting addicted to Adderall. Let's say you take it only a few times. What are the side effects you should expect? Loss of appetite, you won't be able to sleep at night, you'll have a fast heartbeat, and euphoria. This could be a good side effect if you look at it that way, but in the long term, if you're taking this drug over a long period of time, even if you're prescribed this medication, it can turn into hypertension. Because norepinephrine does make you feel good, does make you focus, but over a long period of time, it stimulates your heart, it stimulates your blood vessels, and it constricts them, it makes them tight, it makes the heart muscle fatigued and overworked, and can lead to heart attack, it can lead to rhythm abnormalities, it can lead to death, it can lead to seizures. Uh, it does get pretty severe if taken in large doses and even normal doses, but over time. So if you're taking it over a period of time, tolerance will develop first. And without it, you're unable to function properly. You feel kind of mentally foggy. And then there's addiction. Here's some signs of addiction. If you or a loved one is suffering from addiction, tolerance, or any signs of abuse of Adderall, or any drug for that matter, I've included some links in the description below. So once again, you guys are awesome. If I was able to make this video a little bit more fun than the last one, please click the like button. It helps me a lot. And if you have not already, bring your awareness to the subscribe button, apply light pressure to it, and I'll see you in the next video.